Do you want to know an easy and cheap way to dial in your TV's over the air antenna channels? Well, I have a solution that will work for you. It's this product right here. Today, I'm going to show you how it works. So this is the King SL1000 Sherlock Digital TV Finder. This product has helped us out a lot as we have traveled across the country in finding those hard to find over the air TV channels. So some of the features of this thing that I'll run through real quick and then I am gonna show you how this works at the end. This first port is your antenna in and this is your antenna out. So all you do is hook this straight in line on the TV, super easy to set up and you're good to go. The next thing you will do is turn this on on the side right here and it is kind of backwards so the on is down and the off is up but you just flip that you'll see this red light kick on i'll try to put that up closer so hopefully you see the red light on and then essentially you're going to start moving your antenna around until you see these green lights right here start to fill up as far as they can and one of the other adjustments you have on this is this little dial right here which is just a frequency dialer so when you turn it all the way up that's testing the highest frequency it's going to grab the channels that are the furthest off and pull them in and it'll start lighting up the green bar what i do with this thing is i turn it all the way up to dial it in to get the most lights that i possibly can then i turn it down about halfway and i start tweaking the antenna again to get the absolute best signal and that way you know you're you're getting a better signal at a lower frequency which means you're going to get better channel output which means you're going to get a better picture so that is kind of how i do it people do it different ways i'm sure somebody will find a way that's a lot better than i do it but that's what works for me the other piece to this is it does have a power import here so you can fully power this thing all the time i do not because you only need to use this when you're searching for the channel so it's not any kind of a booster or anything like that you don't need to leave it on so that once you've done and once you've got it locked in you've done your channel scan you can turn it off and save it but it does run off of a battery on the back here and it's just a nine volt battery and you will get one with it this is actually a different one but it does come with the battery when you purchase it or at least this one did when i got it and you just pop your nine volt battery in here and it will last for a pretty long time because you're really not using it that often but the once you got it on here you just pop this back on push it back in and that is pretty much it not a whole lot to this thing like i said it's cheap and easy and that always helps and that's what i like so now i will actually hook this up and show you how it works on the antenna and you can see that and this should be a pretty short and simple video but i hope this helps people out so here's the signal finder hooked up so as you can see i've got this cable running to the back of the television in to where it says tv and this is the actual antenna wire running into here where it says antenna so at this point I would just flip this thing on. So as you can see here, we're already getting two bars because I do have our antenna adjusted. But what I would do in our case is adjust the antenna right here at our little thing. We raise it up and then we can turn it either way. But back to this. So right now you see I've got two bars. This was actually the best we were able to get. But here's the frequency wide open, as you can see, as I talked about earlier. And then when I start twisting this down, you'll see this actually drop back to one bar and here's where i would try to tweak it in but this was as good as i was able to get this so i just left it at the high frequency so the once you got this done all you got to do is run your channel scan on your television and enjoy the television that you're going to get here we actually got 43 channels but to show you that this is working we'll turn on the tv there seems to be a so now you see the tv is on we've got channels but once that is done you do not have to leave this on as stated you just flip this thing off and what I do is I just store it behind the television and that is all you got to do. 